It's 100 days to go until the most unpredictable election of modern times. More parties are in the contest, throwing out the traditional calculations. But one thing we can still say, after May the 7th, one of these two will walk through the door of Downing Street as Prime Minister. No surprise to find Ed Miliband in a hospital today, putting what's become Labour's central message in this campaign. There is a choice of two futures carrying on with a Conservative plan, which has already led to an NHS in crisis and threatens the service as we know it, or a Labour plan to rescue our NHS, invest in its future and join up services from home to hospital. Friends, that is what we are fighting for in this general election. That's why we need to elect a Labour government. <laughs> For the Conservatives, it is all about the economy and figures out today showed three months of strong growth, even if construction is faltering and there's too much reliance on consumer spending. George Osborne was in a waitrose today. They've just announced some new jobs. Aren't you worried you're going to end up looking like the nasty party when we get to this election? It comes back to an essential truth about all of this, which is you can't have a strong National Health Service. Indeed, you can't have strong public services without a strong economy. And that is the choice people are going to face in 100 days' time. Do you want the Conservative plan of competence and progress that is delivering that economic recovery, or do you want the chaos of all the alternatives? It's also been confirmed today a Conservative government would cut the maximum amount of benefits a household could receive to £23,000 a year. Were they happy to be judged on that? People watching this programme would ask themselves a question. Is it fair that a family that is not in work is getting £25,000 or £24,000 when they're not in work, and yet the average family going out to work might be getting less than that? So it comes down to a question of fairness, comes down to a question of what the country could afford, but above all it comes down to a welfare system that supports and rewards work. The pace is quickening, the messages are hardening. In 100 days, Britain must make up its mind. Andy Bell, 5 News.